What's up everyone, my name is Brian, uh, I run the Intense Gaming channel here on YouTube, and today I have kind of a cool video, quick tip sort of thing, just to um, show you guys how to get basically a higher frame rate in your Black Ops 2 videos, or Modern Warfare 3, um, whatever. So, um, if you're an editor and you use Twixter, you probably... Uh, know that your clips when you slow them down with Twixter will probably have a bunch of distortion so if you have a low frames per second video it's gonna be even worse so oh, whoops sorry um, but see you can see the distortion right there it's uh, it's not too bad but you can you can make it better so this is what you're gonna be able to make your clip look like yeah so there's pretty much no distortion right there except for the shitty video quality, sorry about that. Uh, and sorry about the lighting also, it's, um, this is in zombies because the multiplayer theater mode is down right now, so, yeah, anyways, what you're gonna wanna do is, um, well, first of all, let me tell you what the basic idea is. Um, you have to use theater mode, basically, uh, to slow down your clip, and then you speed it up with your video editing software, so, to do this, um, you have to change your controls from default to bandit in theater mode, okay? And then, oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, and then you uh, slow it down by pressing down on the D-pad and then up to speed it up. And, um, yeah, then there, there you got, ugh, sorry, I can't talk. There you have your uh, slowed down clip and then... So, here is my slowed down clip. Alright, so, uh, let me just show you really quickly, because I'm sure you know how to slow clips down and speed them up with uh, After Effects or whatever you use, but um, I don't like to do that in the projects, because that just means there's more things to deal with when you're making an edit, so I just pre speed it up if that makes sense like I'll get the clip and I'll speed it up before I even uh, edit it so um, you won't lose any frames unless uh, I uh, sorry you won't lose frames um, if you increase the frame rate to 60 uh, in your composition so you make a new composition make that 60 and then import well, 59.94, whatever. Import this file, which is 30 frames per second. So, when I speed this clip up, I'm going to have more frames than if I was just recording this at normal speed. Because that's just how it works. <laughs> um, but yeah, just you can just speed it up with Twixter or, you know. This is point one. You don't have to, uh, yeah. You don't have to record your clips at point one. You can record it at point five and speed it up by uh, two hundred percent. But I'm doing it point one thousand percent. That just means you're gonna have more data, but it's gonna be fluid, a lot more fluid motion, as you saw in that in that video. There's basically no motion distortion, so you're gonna be able to do that if you have. If you go all the way down to point 0.1, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I would just do point 0.5, and then you're going to speed up by 200%. So anyways, yeah, all you have to do, render that out, um, and then you'll have your, your uh, high 60 frames per second um, clip ready to edit, and it'll be pretty, it'll look much better, I think. So um, thanks for watching. If this helped you out, leave me a like. Uh, maybe subscribe even that would be awesome anyways uh, I'm gonna go but uh, check out or keep an eye out for uh, Black Ops 2 video I'm gonna have it out as soon as they fix theater mode because um, theater mode is down right now if I didn't already mention that but thanks for watching um, yeah peace